I'll be honest, I never cared for the Xbox. When I first saw it, I said, meh, and carried on playing the PlayStation 2. In more recent times, something about it had caught my attention, and now it's a very underrated system that has some truly great games. It's cheap to buy, and the games cost almost nothing. I bought over 50 games in just two months, and I love the collection I have so far. Sadly, for us PAL owners, the Xbox was gimped. There was no 480p, 720p or 1080i resolutions for us to choose from, and sadly, the Xbox has this flicker filter turned on for every game in interlaced mode. It means the picture is a lot more blurry than it should be. Worse still, very few games allow you to turn it off. If you hack your PAL Xbox, like mine here, you can restore 480p, 720p, and 1080i resolutions, but you'll need component cables or a HDMI adapter to take advantage of that fact. Unfortunately, my cables have gone AWOL, so I have to use the RGB SCART cable for now. With that, I want to see how the picture quality changes when I turn off the flicker filter and compare it to how the Xbox looks with it turned on. I played a few games to see if it's worth the hassle. Let's see how things turned out. I tried out Colin McRae Rally 04 first. As you can see, the game looks really blurry. It was hard to see ahead and considering I was using good RGB SCART cables, I was pretty disappointed with the picture quality. It looks like a bad smudge filter was applied across the footage. When I disable it, the picture is a little bit clearer and much easier to see. Details that had been smeary had more definition, but even with this, it's still too blurry in my opinion. It might look good on a smaller display, but on my 4K television, it's still not good enough considering how sharp my other 6th generation consoles are using RGB SCART cables. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike has the flicker filter built in, meaning we can switch it off at any time. The filter does make everything appear a lot smoother, but at the cost of a much blurrier picture. Not for me. The flicker filter being turned off makes a bigger difference here than in Colin McRae Rally, and you can see how much more clear the picture is when turning it off. The game has more jaggies as a side effect, but the improvements to the graphics are clear to see. Dead or Alive 3 is an amazing game. This blur filter, however, is not. It makes a really nice looking game seem underwhelming. I mean, okay, it doesn't look that bad. Taking it off does give us an improvement, albeit not dramatic. The image is still blurrier than I'd like. Any improvement will do, but it's pretty clear the only way to get a great picture on this console is to enable 480p, 720p or 1080i. Again, you must mod your PAL Xbox in order to do that if you happen to own one that is not an NTSC model. I'm a huge fan of Flatout 2, and playing it on Xbox is rather compelling thanks to how well the controller works in racing games. The image quality could be better though. That blur filter is destroying my eyeballs at this point. It's difficult to look at it constantly for long periods of time. Does turning off the flicker filter help? A little bit. The image is still softer than I'd like, and it's a real shame it looks worse than the PlayStation 2 version, which I also own. I still had fun, but I really do need to get those component cables to get 480p and make this blur filter go away. Alright, I think you folks have got the idea about the flicker filter and how turning it off works on the original Xbox. I'll show you the rest of the footage I captured, and then I'll show you something that might help us out here. See you in a moment.
it opens into six left and three right. Into six left over crest. Into six right over crest, 30. K along three right over narrow bridge. Into four left. And six right, 30. Six left and six right over crest. Into six right and five left. Into four left narrows over crest. Four left narrows over crest. And six right, 30. Long two left tightens. Don't cut split. 30 long two right. Don't cut. Into long crest and three right. Six left. Six left. Alright, so far we've seen mostly minor differences when we turn the flicker filter off. However, this whole time I was using the pass-through mode on the OSSC, meaning our render resolution was only 480i or 576i. The OSSC has the ability to quadruple the resolution of 480i and 576i, so with that in mind, will this achieve anything significant if I enable it? Don't forget, the OSSC has to use Bob the interlacing to upsample the graphics. It will be shaky as expected and with the filter off, the shaking will be intensified. But will the image quality be any better? Well, let's revisit Soul Calibur 2. The visuals did look a bit clearer with the filter off already, but if we use the 4X mode, wow, a huge difference you have to say. The picture is very clear and details and certain lighting effects really pop out now. Amazing how much of a difference the upscaling makes to interlaced content. Yes, the picture is flickering like crazy now and it's no substitute for 480p or 720p, but considering the results, this is a big improvement. I'd be happy to play Soul Calibur 2 like this if 480p or above wasn't available. Going back to Colin McRae Rally 04 showed similar results. Having the Line 4X mode really helps to bring out a lot more detail than before and it looks so much sharper. The downside is a lot more flicker is on the screen more than any other console I've ever seen before but considering how blurry the game was before, I take this result. Obviously 480p is a far better choice but if you don't have component cables this is a decent way to play Xbox original games. Going back to the game Black really hit home how amazing the 4X mode is. The details pop out and all the highlights really stand out. I'm quite impressed with how this all looks. Goes to show how less blur and great upscaling really can make a huge difference to image quality. That being said, had this been 480p rather than 480i, the results would have been drastically better. I'm still impressed by the 4X mode on the OSSC, and this is how I intend to play Xbox original titles until I get component cables for the console. Overall, the Xbox's infamous flicker filter definitely causes a lot of games to look blurrier than they should, even with RGB SCART cables. Disabling it definitely improves image quality, but that improvement will depend on how well you de-interlace the footage. Sadly, my setup was the blend type, which gives a ghosting look to it. Not my favourite method. Motion adaptive would be much better. The OSSC and its Line 4X mode really brought out the best of the Xbox in its interlaced mode, but improvement varies game by game and since most people will not have access to a high-end upscaler, 
This just shows most people are better off using HDMI adapters and modding the Xbox to allow for its high resolution modes to be used instead. If you are unable to do that and you want the best out of the original Xbox running in standard definition mode, this is it. The only downside is you have to modify the system, otherwise you will not get access to the flicker filter setting. Hopefully, this video was helpful in explaining the Xbox's strange blurry output in standard definition, and you folks let me know down in the comments what you think of the results. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again soon.